Kelly Sullivan Walden is on a mission, a mission to awaken the world to the power of dreams. She is a certified clinical hypnotherapist whose unique approach to dream therapy has led her all over the world, enriching the lives of thousands of ind individuals along the way, from Fortune 500 executives to stay-at-home moms. And I am so excited to have Kelly Sullivan Walden on the show. I have so much to talk to you oh about. Oh my God, let's get started. <laughs> I'm excited to okay, be here with you today. First things first, I need to know a little bit about you. So yes, when did you realize, okay, hey, I'm good at analyzing dreams I it, it's it's something that I've just always done and I've always been the dear Abby type that people have always told me their problems their issues and and dreams were always just a part of it and there was a period of time where everyone that I talked to seemed to say you need to write a book about this because you're you've got a perspective that makes me not feel crazy yeah there's a lot of people that look at dream books and they feel like they're insane because that it's like pathologizing them tell it making them feel crazy and I always think every dream is on our side. Our dreams right. are helping us to be a healthier version of ourselves. So there's no bad dreams. Oh, that's good to know because I've had some wacky ones. Oh yeah, I'll tell you about them too. <laughs> now you're the keynote speaker tomorrow uh, for the International New Age Trade Show at the mm -hmm. Crown Plaza. Yes. So has dreams really like helped your business career too, interpreting them? I think they, uh, yes, absolutely, because I think that all of us are on a hero's journey. Joseph Campbell, the late great mythologist, said that we're all heroes on a hero's journey. And I believe that there's a specific path for all of us where we're, we're meant to all be successful. We're all meant to shine in some unique way. And our dreams are helping us to uncover what's in the way and then what could propel us forward. And if we were to pay attention to our dreams and look at our dreams from the perspective of the hero's journey, meaning that life is on our side and even the difficulties are helping us to uncover some power that we didn't know we had, right. then we start to find the clues to what is meant to be kind of our dream career. So we don't have to ever work. Like wow. if we do what we love, we never have to yeah, work that's a day true. in our life. Like that's you. true. I, I have a, a couple of jobs and I love it. So right. it doesn't feel like work every day. Exactly. Okay, I've had this dream that, and I've had it several times in mm -hmm. my life. Um, it's like a round house and I'm going through a long hallway. It's kind of round mm -hmm. and I find a secret room that nobody really knows about and it opens up and it's it, there's so much extra space in there. Now here's the crazy part. Mm. I told my sister about it. She's had the exact same dream. So is it something that we've both experienced in our life and don't remember? Okay, well this is uncanny because the, one of the reasons why I, I even got into dream work is because my sister, Shannon, year and a half younger than I am, she and I have also had tandem dreaming throughout our lives where we'll dream about something random and at the same time or in the same space so to me, it feels like it, it's a symbol that you and your sister are deeply connected, like psychic twins almost. Wow. And you're kind of going through some similar things. And it's also validating that this is an important dream. This is a big dream. Every dream is important, but this is a big dream. Do we know what it's about? So I have a perspective, if I may. Uh -huh. If it were my dream, I think, of, I think of a house as being a typical symbol of our, who we are, who we think we know ourselves to be. It's, it's our, our self-definition, so to speak. But when you find a secret room. Yes. To me, this is so exciting. I get the goosies. Really? Because it feels like it's an aspect of self that is yet to be discovered. <gasps> it's like, um, it's like, I always say that we're not living in the map, ma the lack shack. We're living in a mansion of expansion. And in your dream, you've expanded beyond who you know yourself to be. And it's kind of like a preview of coming attractions that who wow. you are as an ever expanding being is exciting. Oh! There's more wisdom, intuition. There's more resources. stuff to uncover in this crazy girl. <laughs> You've barely scratched the surface of who you are, and your sister is validating that. So you're not alone in your expansion. You have a partner in crime, so to speak. Wait until I tell Stephanie that we're not crazy. We're Stephanie, psychic. you're not crazy. You're psychic. <laughs> you're brilliant. Okay, so we've actually put together a little video here of some of our staff members. They have dreams that they would love for you to interpret. Let's, Let's check it out. See. Hi, Kelly. Uh, so my dreams are usually too weird to interpret, I believe. So. Uh, one of the more normal ones that I have, not regularly, but is probably the most recurring, is that I'll do something to my car. I will back into a pole, scrape it against a wall, or, you know, something along those lines, and then wake up and not realize it was a dream for, you know, 30 seconds or so. So that's pretty common for me, and I've never known what that means. Okay, quickly, what does that mean? Okay. Any recurring dream to me is like the cosmic highlighter pen saying, pay attention, this is super important. So a, a, a car is kind of wordplay for career. 
in some way, oh. from my perspective, because it's your, where your drive is, it's your motivation, yes. your ambition. It's like getting you where you wanna go. So in some way, if it were my dream, I would say that I might be overly driven or I might be going in spurts and not necessarily, like maybe the, the goal of this dream, because I believe a nightmare is an unfinished dream because it ends in a not pleasant way. Right. I would say that Adam should think about driving his car with full precision, like having it be this Maserati that's got power and yes. he is, he's driving and he's calm and he's cool and he can see 360 so that he is in control of his car rear and the body of where he's going. Yes, Adam, life. yes! Adam! All right, one more, <laughs> this one's wacky. Take a look at this one. Hi Kelly, so I've noticed a trend that I tend to have some uh, disturbing apocalyptic dreams. Uh, I was at this carnival and it was um, pretty busy and I just remember following this kite around. And then change scenes, I'm uh, in the middle of the ocean and it seems to be World War II but there are mermaids involved. And I am some sort of mermaid and there's all these bombs and different things happening in the water and I am moving to different parts of the world in order to um, help figure things out. So what does that mean? It means you're a genius. What? Oh my God, this is this is such a special dream. I love it so much. Okay, so the first part is she's following a kite. So to me, this tells me that there's some part of her, and I'll just say the part of myself that I that I relate to, is like when you, when sometimes we're afraid that when we let go and just have fun and follow the kite, something bad's gonna happen. That's why so many of us adults are kind of always super prepared for everything. But, so, so bombs go off, so something bad happens. And bombs to me are like anger explosions or things that you don't expect that are shocking and devastating. But so this, dreams always reveal, in many cases, the, the issue or the challenge du jour, but also the solution. And the solution is to go deep. And the oh. solution, it's like um, Einstein said, you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created the problem. So you go into another part of your, your psyche, which is her underneath, her, her water, which represents more of the feminine aspect, the emotional feeling place that can understand, go underneath the problem and oh. have, so I think this, this dreamer is a healer in disguise and doesn't even realize it. Well, and, and Skylar is a student of psychology, so oh. this totally makes sense. She's going to be my new therapist. Yeah, she totally I makes sense. I Skylar. Okay, now I really, I want to talk about your best-selling author too, oh, which I you. have to pick it up. Thank you. Um, and the, your newest publication, it's actually, it's a, it's a set of 52 cards yes. called the Hero's Journey Dream Oracle Cards. Are these playing cards? How does this work? So these cards are meant to be something that you play in your ordinary life with friends. You can wake up in the morning and pick a card and it's meant to give you a nudge or an insight about how best to go about your hero's journey that day because you're always on a hero's journey. You're, every day you're approaching it. So it's a blend of dreams, like dreams and the hero's journey can seem so esoteric and woo -hoo -hoo yeah. out there, but I, my goal is to make it something tangible and accessible that you can do every day to give you some kind of an affirmation, almost like to put a frame around whatever your circumstances are for you to know that even if you're challenged, even if there's something not exactly going your way, that you are a hero on a hero's Aww. journey, that life is on your side, and to have that little boost so that you can pay more attention to your life from that perspective and, and thus let the wind be at your sales so that you can enjoy your process and there's not enough time in the show I Let's want to talk to you one. all day and I'll bring the You're cards next time yes please I, will, yes. I have more I, I I talk in my sleep scream in my sleep too so I'll have to tell We've you more got next. to talk okay Whoa. this is just part one how okay. would you like to meet this lady Kelly Sullivan Walden in person this Saturday June 8th Kelly will be at the Shining Lotus metaphysical bookstore from 2 to 4 p.m. yes pick up a set of the hero's journey dream oracle cards and possibly get a little insight from Kelly. Shining Lotus is located at 2553 South Colorado Boulevard. That's 2553 South Colorado Boulevard, Suite 104. Learn more about Kelly and order her books, including Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams, and the Unexplainable. Visit her website. Go to kellysullivanwalden.com.